What's up, YouTube? Pastor Bob. Well, a couple years in the waiting, and finally, finally, it's here. Good gracious me. Sorry, you didn't get no unboxing today. I've been waiting too long. I was being a little selfish. Sorry about that. Here we go. Ready? Aim. Fire. Bam! Good God Almighty. <laughs> love it, I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Ta da! That's right, baby. I got this bad mamma jamma. Oh, good God. Take it out of the case and flip it over. So you guys can see it. Oh, look at that. Exceptional. Guys, I checked this guitar out. What a nice, what a superb job that Firefly, JSN did, building this guitar. I checked it over with a fine tooth comb. There's nothing wrong with this. Except maybe my fingerprints on it. But outside of that, them frets are probably some of the nicest. I mean, polish-wise, it's on another level of polish. And look, all the way up the fret, but they did such a nice job. And that rosewood, that is on another level of color. That color, that quality of rosewood... Is so expensive to buy. I mean, as a luthier, I'm telling you, that is expensive color. That's super, super nice. Seven ply binding all the way around, up, down the headstock. I mean, mother of toilet seat inlay. Uh, well, that's, I think that's, yeah, mother of toilet seat. I, that may be real. In the Firefly. Let's see, is it in line? Well, I'll be. It sure is. This is all mother of toilet seat, too. Oh, my God. I mean, good God. Look at that. Oh. Man, these guys, that, that nut is... That nut is cut really, I mean, super, super, I mean, hats off to those guys. They, they are on another level. It takes so much time to cut that stuff nice and, and to make it, to make it blend right. I mean, that's, I'm telling you, I know. I mean, good God. Oops. Sorry, guys. Oops. I think I dropped you. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Have mercy. Sorry. Dropped you. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. That's, that's a bone nut. And I'm going to tell you, that's so nicely done. So nicely done. God have mercy. I'm sweating bullets here. Roll a bridge. Covered and uncovered humbucker. Two volume, two tone. Oh. Good Lord, they did a nice job with that paint. Man. I wish that I could paint that good. I'm I'm not bad, but look. Mm-mm, but look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, good gracious me. Look at that. Wow, huh? What a nice job. Super, super cool. Super on another level cool. You know, people can say what they want about Firefly. Well, you know what? I tell you right now. 
<laughs> this is really, really, really nice. The only thing that I see is a little bit of haze right in here. Which I can get out of there. It's just no big deal. Outside of that, JSN is knocking it out of the park. Locking tunas, which are really good, by the way. Just look at that. Look at the way whoever painted this is really good at blending. I want to show you this side and show you this side. They they did a really nice job. I mean, good gracious. Look how beautiful that is, huh? Yeah, that's that's on another level, you know. Uh, let's just put say it the way it is, right? I think these were what twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars, something like that from Epiphone. A similar model, not the same, because it is not exactly the same, right? Some people say, "Well, why don't you buy the real thing?" Well, because I like Firefly guitars. I think they're exceptionally made guitars. And me being a guitar luthier for many years, that's my opinion. But from building them, I know how much time... Go Look, just to make that nut... I mean, you can't even feel nothing. To, to make that nut like that, that takes time. That's not... That's not easy to do. Okay, that takes somebody with... Special skills and detail to do that. And to put the 7-ply binding all the way around like that. I don't know if you've ever put binding on. Probably not. But the guys out there that have, no. You either get it right or you don't get it right. And to make it all nice and even. And not have no blatches and blotches. And make it come up to where it looks right. Oh, man. It, Look, I paid, uh, let's see, what did I pay for this? Can't remember now. Somewhere around 260 for this guitar. Worth it. Triple that. Now, I'm not trying to get them to raise their prices because I like their prices where they're at. But this guitar, the way it sits, the way the paint is done, the way the binding is done, this fret boy, the straightness, the mahogany, the hardware, right? Is worth that all day long. I mean, <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Because if you don't agree with me, apparently you don't understand what goes into the construction of building a guitar. Apparently you don't. Because any luthier that looks at this just as bare bones in, in the craftsmanship, how shiny, how well polished these frets are and how well rounded the ends are with nothing you could run your peter across them frets and you'd never cut it that's i'm not gonna do that i'm just saying safety wise they did an awesome job awesome i'm thoroughly impressed with this guitar not that i don't i'm to be honest, not that I'm not with other Firefly guitars that I have, because I am equally impressed. I just, you know, look, if if this this is an American company name, right, Firefly? I'm pretty sure of that. Now, the guitar is made in China by a well well known uh guitar manufacturer they build guitars for other people now now i'm not going to say who or what or where or why because i don't want to be wrong but they do uh build guitars for other big brand names i mean and i'm thinking based upon some of the guitars that i've seen yeah these guys are on another level. I mean, like, really on another level. 
I, I don't understand how they can do it, to be honest with you. I mean, for me, the materials alone are we're at the price they're selling for. I mean, I understand that they're buying in bulk and things are different. Prices are different over there in China, but unbelievable. You'd never get this built in America for that. Not even double it, not even triple it where you get it built for that. Not even quadruple, probably. And that's being honest. And that's just built. It doesn't count the hardware. Even with Epiphone, Epiphones are made in China, right? In similar models. And boy, I tell you what, I know they got their own factory, but boy, I'll tell you what, that artwork looks really, really close. It makes me wonder. I think that would be a rabbit hole that I would never be able to reach the bottom or figure out where the rabbit's at. Somebody knows somebody or something or has got techniques or blueprints or something. Because this, I have played the Epiphone and I have played the real Gibson. And that this is uh, the homage of, right? Dude, <laughs> I'm so stoked. I'm so happy. These guys are really good builders. Really, really good builders. I am thoroughly impressed. My hat's off to you guys. I'm glad that you listen to your community of Firefly lovers and followers. Because you bring exceptional instruments to the market. And for us that purchase them and, and love them, unless you have owned one... And understand, uh, you know, the guitar market and the cost of different items. Look, the pickups are okay. They're not the greatest. You know, I like that vintage PAS. If you point them towards your amp, they're going to squeal, right? Just the way it is. Nature of the beast. But I already ordered the right pickups for this style guitar. Right? The right pots. I mean, I already have all that high-end stuff. And I will change it over. That's all I'm going to do. Is put the right pickups in it and the right potentiometers in it. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing else needs to be touched. And it is... <laughs> it's as good as any Epiphone then. Or better. That's all I got to say. I have nothing else to say. If you don't own one, you'll never understand the experience. And before you knock it, you better try it. And don't say that you tried it and not try it. Try it. Try one. I mean, I've seen some skeptics. I got a friend that, you know, he's always one of them guys. I said, well, well. You're spending thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. If you do and you're collecting, that's fine. That's dandy. I'm happy for you. I'm glad you're getting what you want. But from a player's point of view, if you're going to play it, why don't you try one? Like... Look, when they tried the Fireflies, they, uh, hey, you're right. The only thing I changed was the pickups. Everything else was great. You're right. All my friends that have done it agree with me. I'll tell you a big skeptic, my brother, right? He's like Mr. 12th and 16th fret, right? He's always there. And looking to see if he's going to get the buzz, right? And I've seen him play high-end guitars and just complain about them. You know, he's just one of those very articulate players, right? And He's just, everything has to be perfect. Mr. Perfect Toes, right? And he loves Fireflies. And I don't say nothing. I just let him play them. Like the other night he came in and he played my my ghost. <coughs> my Firefly ghost telly. Loves it. I'm going to buy one, he said. That's it. 
I'm sold. So he'll be buying, he'll be buying one of them. And I know when she plays this, it's all over with the crying because he'll be buying one of these too. And that's if he can get one. But guys, when they come, just do it, man. If you have the money, the extra money, you know, you know, save a little money every, you know, month or something, you know. And then when they come out, grab one. Right? I mean, oh, man. I, it's sad when you get a guitar, and I've had this happen. You know, you buy a guitar from anybody, and it comes in, and it's broken. Right? Or something's wrong. But let's be real. When you're paying this money, and it comes in this well, it just excites you. Right? It excites you. Because even though I love building guitars, it takes so long, right? And of course, I'm using choice wood. So I'm handpicking choice pieces of wood. Yes. Does that really matter in the overall sound? Look, there's two things that matter. Well, actually, there's three major components that matter, right? Of course, the whole package matters, you know, the way the headstock is, the way the nuts cut, the way the frets are, the way the frets are leveled, uh, the type of woods that you use, right? Is it is it a chambered body or solid body? All those things. Is it a short neck tendon, a long neck tendon? I mean, there's arguments on that. But the three major things outside of those things being perfect are your pickups being high quality. Your potentiometers being high quality and above and beyond that, the most important thing, and I tell all the young guitar players, right? What's the most important thing? I say, well, you can have a cheap guitar, but you better have a high-end amp. You better have a really good quality amplifier. That will make the difference. Because you can build on this and you can use it as a absolutely superb top end top quality modding platform and put the highest most expensive pickups in it right you could put the get original gibson pickups potentiometers uh switchcraft switches right you can put all that stuff in there and you will not get nowhere near even the price of an epiphone and the quality of the material is Look, see that fretboard? Exceptional. Exceptional stuff. Take a chance, guys. It'll be worth it, you know? And the great thing about Firefly and JSN, look, if you get it and it ain't right, something's wrong, you contact them, they'll make it right. They will make it right. Without a hitch. So, that's all I got to say, guys. I hope you liked my video. Sorry for the smudges because I had my fingers all over it. If you liked the video, like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Tonight, it gets the new Seymour Duncans. Yee-haw! All right, guys. It's Pastor Bob. I'm out of here. See ya.